welcome back to Faith Forward TV. I'm your host, Faith, and this is Successful Sundays. I don't know if you can hear me over the AC. Let me turn it down. It's steaming hot outside. Like, it's so hot. Let me see if I can see the weather. It's 96 degrees outside. I got on shorts. It's hot. Woo! It's serious. But I wanted to make this video. Let me pay attention to the room. I wanted to make this video to talk about multiple streams of income and how important it is to have them. Even if you have, you're in a high income career, um, anything could happen. Like, even if, let's say, you were doing, I don't know, real estate or something, deals fall through, clients cancel, things happen, you know? So you definitely want to have, you don't want your whole day to go down the drain because of a client or something happened or anything. Even if you're working a, a high um, income job, you can get fired. Anything can happen. So it's like, I've been really on this self journey, um, self betterment journey of multiple streams of income and trying to create them in my life. So I just thought about that because I'm like, anything can really happen anything can happen so it's like you don't want to be dependent on one income and lose money for a day because you are so tied to one career you know what I mean some people say oh don't you know stick to one career whatever whatever I mean you do what you want if you have a high paying career obviously you want to stick with that but add things to it maybe uh, add a book a course, um, e-commerce, so many different things. Like, I'm definitely implementing different things I won't talk about here yet because um, they haven't launched yet. I'll talk about them when I've launched them. But yeah, there's so many different opportunities and we always have to keep our eye out for those, you know. I'm actually on my way to meet up with one of my um, business besties and friends, now friends. And I'm going to support a, um, I guess it's a pop-up shop um, in Long Island. So I'm going to support that. And, you know, I definitely want to do business with them in the future. It's just that um, I just found out about this event. So I couldn't um, take advantage of that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm happy to see that people are really starting to realize we need more than one way to make money. And, you know... It's really, really, really important. You know, always do your research. Always look for more. Um, yeah, I mean, just always try to keep your mind open and listen to people. And good advice I got from a course I was taking last night. I was up all last night listening to this course, um, this business course from this woman who's highly successful. Um, you know, she grew up poor and she was able to take herself out of that situation from a bootstrap. So I'm really proud of her and I, I, I've always, um, supported her courses, but she said, one of the things that stuck out to me yesterday was, um, she said, always listen to someone who has more money than you. You don't have to necessarily agree, but you definitely want to have an open ear to hear what they might have to say. Because they may be able to teach something to you. I mean, for in, for all sakes, they have more money than you. So, they definitely can, can teach you something, right? So, definitely take a listen to that. Um, she said a bunch of different things, too, about networking and spending a little bit more money, maybe on a flight or hotel when you travel, to meet high net worth individuals to do networking and uh, business with, um, which I think that was a great advice. Um, I, I think you guys should definitely implement that, um, especially if, you, let's say, you live in a low-income area. You don't want to just stay in those areas. You want to, especially if you're young, you want to really travel and go to networking events. I remember when I was still young, but I remember when I was real young, I would always go to networking events far. I didn't care how far they were from me because I was hungry for information. I was hungry for success. I was hungry for to break generational curses to um, change my circumstances you know and I, I to this day I still I still do that I still travel uh, I do 
don't care. I travel anywhere. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to invest in myself. You know, a good friend of mine, Tanisha, I just watched her video. Uh, she was talking about, you know, if you're, you're going through it or whatever, you're in a job, you know, you're always going to have these bills. Um, when are you going to invest in yourself to change your circumstance? Because your boss ain't going to do it for you. You know, they ain't going to tell you start a business. They ain't going to tell you write that book. They ain't going to tell you do that course. They ain't going to tell you make this YouTube channel. They ain't going to tell you to, you know, give yourself freedom. Only you can give yourself that. You know what I mean? So you definitely want to go ahead. Um, I have a book, a great book for you that has helped myself and many others manifest so many great things into their lives. And not only do you manifest, you actually do the work. There's tips in there for you to actually get shit done, to do the work. So you definitely want to pick up the seven secret keys to transform your life and level up. And I am making another book that is really going to really, really help you guys. And I'm getting personal about my personal life in there as well. So you definitely want to look out for that because I'm definitely telling you my ups and downs because everything is not, you know, in life there's ups and downs, you know, especially as an entrepreneur or even as somebody who wants to just start a business. I, I, I know I've been through the ringer. I've, I've had success and then I've also lost because I didn't have the proper information to sustain, you know, and then by grace of God, things change. So, um, and definitely having great friends around me, great, uh, people to look up to and to learn from, I've learned some things and I took advantage, you know, definitely like I told you guys from the other video, you guys got all that stimulus money and these tracks and stuff. If you don't use those stimulus monies to invest in yourself, whether it's a course, a book, like the book I told you about, the seven secret keys, or even fix your credit, you can take, I don't know, different people will have different prices to fix credit. 400 to about $1,200 to fix your credit, which was, the check was $1,200, right? To fix your credit. To open the doors for you to get funding to invest in yourself and your business. Even if you don't want a business, let's say you wanted to buy a house, your credit is so important. So, so, so important. You know, um, I was watching another video today and they were talking about um, financing furniture to, you know, a better environment. And also in the course I was watching, she was talking about your environment and affects your mental health. And she was talking about how she was in the uh, mental, what do you call it? The hospital for, you know, mental, oh, sorry, I'm having a brain, brain freeze. Mental issues, right? For mental health. And uh, she said her environment, the people really affect her. She wasn't able to soar and make all the money she makes now. She drives a Lamborghini now. She lives in a beautiful penthouse in Los Angeles. And uh, she wasn't able to do that until she separated herself. That's what I'm telling you guys. You're young. Even if you're older, it doesn't matter if you started over. Travel outside of your city. Travel outside your state. Go to areas where people are prospering. Go to the networking events. There's always a seminar. Uh, how to, you know, uh, six figure whatever I see it all over the internet six figure this real estate this mortgage this uh, how to do this business this credit this and these people who are wealthy I was driving in a really wealthy area yesterday actually hopefully this video doesn't cut off if it does I'll make a part two we're going on nine minutes but um I was in a wealthy area yesterday driving around um in Jersey and they were, all, they were stopping me in the car <laughs> to wave at me. Like they, want, they were like <laughs> so happy, so happy. This lady and her husband, they were all waving me down. And, you know, I, I got to talking and I, I'm always asking questions. What do you guys do? <laughs> what do you guys do? How are you? Where are you from? Da -da -da -da. What's your story? And we just got into it and. You know, people are really... I wasn't there on purpose. I just happened to be driving past, honestly. And then I was I stopped to look at the, you know, basically like mini, mini mansions. So I was looking at them. I was like, oh, these are pretty. Um, Yeah, so... They don't mind sharing information. 
and these are the type of people you definitely want to get the information from there's a lot of people giving out info but you got to really look at their lives like i ain't gonna tell you nothing that i haven't done or i ain't gonna also leave out the parts where life wasn't so great you know what i mean i ain't gonna leave out the ups and downs but i do know a little something about credit I ain't gonna hold you i do know a little something about credit and i do know a little something about manifesting you can check that out for yourself. You can go to Faith Forward TV on Instagram and look that for yourself. So I do know a little something. Um, but, um, yeah, get out there and network. You know, um, a great friend of mine, I remember networking actually caused me to be an author. Uh, I was going to all these real estate seminars, not seminars, networking events and business networking events a few years back. And, I wasn't in the greatest position. I mean, I, I came from making a ton of money to transitioning because of a partnership, a business partnership that just wasn't fruitful anymore. And I had to part ways, which I'll talk about in the new book. I'll go into a little bit more detail about that. But yeah, I went from making to, whew, I don't know what happened, where I had to humble myself. And I started going to these events, and um, I was actually making more money before going to the events, but I didn't have the connections that I had. So I started meeting these, um, really, these people are now lifelong friends of mine. So I started meeting these people, and they would teach me certain things and tell me. At the time, it didn't click, and I was just happy to be in the building. But after a certain amount of while, and watching them succeed throughout life, and seeing that, you know, they're still winning... <laughs> They're still winning and I was going through it. So I'm like, they're still winning. So maybe they do have a little bit of something to teach me. You know what I mean? So yeah, long story short, a friend, a uh, guy I met, uh, who turned out to be a friend, which I have to actually need to visit him, I know. I don't know if he still watches my channel, but I got to visit you. I know I've been saying that forever. It's so busy. Um, we're all busy, but yeah, I definitely got to um, go to his office. He told me, you know what? Because I told him I used to write all the time when I was younger. I hope you guys can hear me. I used to write all the time when I was younger. And he was like, you know, write, write your book. Publish your book. And I said, you know what? I, let me do that. And I, I wrote the book. It took me years to like have the confidence to write a book and even to do YouTube videos. But um, it took me years to write books. But this book, I wrote it in like. I want to say two days maximum and um it's i'm happy i did because i helped so many people so um multiple multiple streams i don't know what i'm going to name this video but multiple streams of income is so important and business i'm learning so much about business and you know i have my llc of course but like the advantages of business and how to get funding and business credit which I'm you know sharpening my senses on that and I gotta talk to one of my friends about that we were talking about that late last night like, we talked all night about business credit and he was telling me you know get the Home Depot cards you know you want to start this new business get your Home Depot and I didn't I didn't understand it at first but now that I thought about it overnight I'm like yeah, he might be on to something. I might need to go ahead and get that Home Depot card. But yeah, um, anyways, if you guys are in the tri-state area and you're looking to partner up into the Airbnb business, definitely reach out to me. You can DM me on Faith Forward TV. Uh, I think that's the easiest way. You can email me, but I don't know, you know, sometimes my emails get so cramped, it gets lost. But, um, I think it's better if you DM me on Faith Forward TV, um, there, or actually, um, you can also DM the Zinconi group on Instagram. That's Z-I-N-G-O-N-I, -I, Z as in zebra, Z-I-N-G-O-N-I -I group, the Zinconi group. Or Faith Forward TV, Faith, I like to have Faith, F-A-I-T-H, Forward, F-O-R-W-A-R-D, TV. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm stuck in traffic, so whatever. 
but I'm always going to support my friends, so I'm out here. You know, I could have just worked all day today or tried to work or do something. Um, but sometimes you got to get out there and network because your network, sometimes networking can make you rich. Look at this car. <laughs> sometimes your network, you know, they say your network is your net worth. So, um, sometimes you got to get out there and meet different people and see how they're how they're making it. You know? Alright. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this long. I think this is one of my longest videos. I want to make longer videos for you. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Uh, I might shoot some footage at the um, event that I'm going to. I'll, I'll see. But yeah. Um, love you, love you, love you. Oh, and also drop in the comments. What kind of car you think I should get? As a daily driver. What kind of car you think I should get? As a daily driver. Something that I could like. Not beat up. But like not really care that. You know. I'm driving it all the time. Um, I'm always going to love my luxury and exotics, but, you know, it's not an everyday, it's not an everyday car. But again, if you want to rent them or purchase, you can also hit me up on, uh, contact me on the Faith Forward TV at Gmail, at Faith Forward TV at Gmail dot, uh, dot com if you want to email me. Uh, but DM me, honestly, DM me at Faith Forward TV. Um, if you want to go ahead and rent, I know a, a friend of mine, he wants to, um, he's going to He's renting the uh, Rolls Royce Cullinan, which is a beautiful SUV, beautiful car, um, and a few others who, you know, got the Sprinters and stuff like that. You know, summertime, so it's definitely time for a Sprinter, and it's definitely time for a luxury, uh, luxury exotic for the summertime. You know, you definitely want to show up in style. All right, guys, that's it. And before I talk your ear off, I'm trying to hit the 20 minute, 20 minute mark. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you're interested in partnering in any business, really, contact me, Faith Forward TV, on Instagram. All right, bye.